Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on my reptiles and just a little update. Uh, <coughs> uh, it's just going to just be on my two main pets right now. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, and my supplies. So first, we're going to start off with my supplies. Uh, one sec, I don't know where to put this. Uh, well, I got paper towels for my gecko substrate because I need to wash his, uh, his, his repti carpet. Uh, I have a feeding container. I have ball python care because I'm starting to get into ball pythons. Gecko care. And then right here is just, where is it? I have a purple forder uh, right here. A purple folder for just extra information. I have the care guide for my the care and breeding guide and care sheet for my leopard gecko. He's drinking water right now. Uh, uh, I have a hide. As you can see, I put some tape on it just to cover my address and my name. So you stalkers that are watching this, don't come over to my house and try to rape me. Uh, I have a calcium dish, calcium dish with, it's very big actually, uh, I cut the bottom off of a Pepsi can and then I covered it with tape like several times so he wouldn't cut himself on the edge, then I, uh, covered it or filled it up with, uh, calcium. And I have another one but I need to wash that out because I'm going to put his food in there and he just keeps on staring at me. Uh, yeah. I have tape right there and I have two lights in there. It's one of these but without the black covering. I have two in there. So yeah, that's my reptile split. Oh, and I have uh, and I have a pooper scooper for my snake. And I don't know if you hear. A thermometer. And then I have a bottle of water in there. So yeah, let's move on to my gecko. So, this is his new setup and I'm going to keep it like this for a while because it's just simple. And it's very easy to keep track of. So, one sec, let me move all the lights. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my fault. Yeah, here we go. And I'm going to feed him right now. And he, I still need to put some paper towels in there because I'm putting his moist hide back in there because he, last time, he had trouble shedding the other side of his tail. And I was wondering if you guys haven't seen my previous video. Well, no, not previous, but it's farther back. Is that carrot tail? Because it's turning orange. I wanted to know if that was some carrot tail coming in. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna feed him right now. Meal rooms. Hold on a second. <laughs> ah, so gross. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, it's because I haven't fed him in a while. Alright. So I got the melons in there. One sec.
One sec. You should eat them soon. So yeah, that's my leopard gecko setup right now. And as you can see, I don't have them up there anymore. And I have that filled up now. And I took this apart. It's my black table that I have my corn snake on. I don't know if you can see any, but the legs and the and then the table. Ow, it smells sharp. Okay, just one sec. I'm gonna put all this stuff back onto my Gecko's cage. I need to hurry up. <coughs> I have to move the brighter one over to the other side so you guys can actually see the corn snake's cage. I'm not going to take her out right now because she needs to get fed. So, one sec. That's her. Right there. It's actually a really good close up of her. Uh, she has gotten a little bit bigger, I don't know. If you can tell, but she has not gotten any bigger, from my opinion, because I see her every day. But I'm going to be feeding her tomorrow, and I hopefully I'm going to going to do a feeding video on that. So stay tuned because I am going to be doing a video feeding video on her and my sister's gopher. So I had to get rid of my gopher. I don't know if I've told you that already, but I have got had to get rid of her. One second. Okay. So let me show you her. Her, uh, her setup. So. I'm sorry. Let me get on my stomach here so yeah as you can see this is this is our gauge it's kind of dark over there well, it looks pink after a while I got her two stickers ah, that I put on her cage I need to put stickers on his cage and I need to add the paper towel to there yes he is eating great uh, so what I put in is a log that I had I think it's just a grapevine branch that I had in his cage, like that went over the cross and then came back down here. I put that in. I put a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll so she could hide in there. I put some fake plant, put a coconut. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, coconut. And then I put, uh, I put little half log kind of thing and then have his water dish her water dish so yeah that's a little update on all of my all of my reptiles and my reptile and my reptile kind of room kind of thing uh, I don't know if I am going to be putting this back together because it gives me more space to put my... Ew. <laughs> that means I will have more space to put these cages. I'm thinking about giving, getting rid of my fish and taking those two out and then putting, I don't know, some, something in there and then having my Xbox up there. So yeah. That's just a little update, and if you guys do know if that is Carrot Tail coming in on my Leo, please comment below, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, see you guys.